it's Frankie and I am so excited because today I am bringing you a makeup tutorial which I've never done on my channel. Very, very excited. But I went to the GLAAD Awards and I posted a picture of my makeup look which was rainbow strobing and everyone freaked out. So I wanted to bring that to you guys and teach you how to do it. But I didn't do it. Nikki Fontaine did it. Hi <laughs> babe. So Nikki is going to teach us how to do this amazing look which was inspired by the no tears left to cry cover art exactly and it's perfect for pride so get ready to get your rainbow strobing look on so the first thing we're gonna use is the vice 3 palette by urban decay Perfect. and I'm gonna take my delium tools this is the I'm gonna take my Delium Tools. This is the 777 Shadow Brush. 777. So I'm gonna use all the things that you screw up when you're talking about. Them. So I'm using everything. You're gonna totally. Yeah. We're like, oh, I'm cutting that. This in is there. the most non-traditional makeup tutorial on the planet. <laughs> Of course, of course. Of course. Do they even use models in ma makeup tutorials? No. Well, I'm they a do model. Them <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in the color Sonic first. And what I did was I started off right on the high point of his cheek where I would see the most amount of highlight. Mm. I'm gonna place that almost like a, a crimson color, but it has these really beautiful pink flecks in it. And just kind of place it in that like half moon shape. And I'm following the contour of his face. Then I'm gonna go in with, this is MBA Cosmetics, and it's these little shimmer shadows, and I absolutely love them. We're gonna go in and we're just gonna diffuse the edge of that. Also, I love that we did this, like, so because I wanted to go see Harry Potter, we did this in about 30 minutes. It was I was like, so Nikki, quick. I have, you have option A, is we're doing this in 30 minutes, and I'm gonna go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Option B is, you're doing this in 30 minutes yeah, and because of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So now I'm going in with the color Lucky from the palette and it's just a gold color. So we're really transitioning into this rainbow kind of color and I'd like all the colors to mesh together um, so that you get that really iridescent highlighted effect. So I'm just kind of placing it behind that, that maroon color that we used but also pushing it into the color. Um, Slightly, but but not doing too much overlapping. A lot of the people at the gala were like so impressed that it didn't look like um, separate colors. Like yeah. it looked like a true rainbow, the way you can't see where one starts and the other one ends. Yeah, that's that's kind of the whole point. Is you want it to almost be like that that light effect that we saw in Ariana, that that stained glass mm -hmm. kind of really translucent, almost like it's a reflection. Mm. So now I'm going in with or makeup, projection. Projection. Yeah. yeah. Going in with the uh, Makeup Forever powder. It's called Star Power. Oh, I like that. It's amazing. So this color is so cool. If you look at it, it looks Ooh. yellow and gold, but it actually has flecks of green in it. Cool. Which is perfect for this part of the rainbow because we're going from orange to yellow to green. Cool. So I'm just placing that right below where we placed it before. And I'm still following that kind of like half moon shape. And I'm just kind of like blocking out my colors right now laying them all down. And now you can start to see that color naturally transitions to green. So I can go back to my Vice 3 palette. Yes. Colored Dragon. I mean, what a color. Sounds Dragon. great. And so now I'm kind of at the point where he's starting to get to where I would normally put contour. Mm. So that's gonna work really well with these cooler colors. The warmer colors are really where that highlight is, where his cheekbone is popping, and now we're starting to get into that contour. So really following his his cheekbone, softly pulling it down. Again, slightly going into that Makeup Forever color we just used, just so that it blends. Um, and it's not just a super defined line of color, but diffusing it slightly and still letting the colors breathe. Mm. Next color is Freeze. Still in the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. Again, placing it right below. And you're going like Roy G. Viv, like yeah, all following of them. following the the color wheel, the the colors of the rainbow. Roy G. Viv, guys. Roy G. Viv, I love that. <sighs> Hashtag Roy G. Viv. I'm gonna go back in with the green and touch it up just a slight bit. This is really where I like that contour to like kind of blend together. I'm gonna go into a really deep indigo blue in the palette. It's called Heroin. Stay away from Heroin, guys. Is it called Heroin? I don't know, but don't do it. Drugs are bad, kids. Yes, exactly. Oh, heroin, like, like, female hero. I think that's what they mean. Good. That's better. You can do that. <laughs> you can, you can be that. a female hero. Do, you can do that. 
Now I'm to the color of vanity and I'm gonna make almost an indigo by mixing vanity and heroin together. I kind of feel bad saying that. I know, me too. Now I'm like, it's all I think about. <laughs> we're like, don't do drugs! Like, don't do drugs! Stay in school! Oh, absolutely. It's very important. It's really important. See. So you can learn to say yes in multiple different languages. Si. Espanol. Si. Italiano. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. We. Oui. French. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the color alchemy now and just place it right at the base of that because I want this, I don't want it to be just a harsh line of color. I want it again to start fading out. And you can see I'm kind of blending it into his ear as well. Mm. I want it to, to be, like you said, a prism of color. I don't want it to look like any harsh lines. Mm. So really going back into, I did really, really dark for the contour and now going into a little bit of a lighter color and just pulling it down and kind of letting that that contour fade into the skin. I'm gonna clean up my edges a little bit, blend them in, finger. And the key to this is using really iridescent colors and then I'm actually gonna put some iridescent powders over it as well so that we get that really shimmery effect. I feel like it's just taking like minutes. You're it's so, so quick. good, Nikki Fontaine. Oh, you're the best. Well, I have a good canvas. So. <sighs> <laughs> Hashtag inspo. Hashtag true collab. I like that. Me too. So this is a color again by M um, MBA Cosmetics. It's a shimmer. It's called Orion, um, and it has kind of these like pink gold flecks in it. So I like it to diffuse these these lines. I'm gonna do a little bit below the contour. And I'm also gonna do a little bit up where that, that red was. And I'm gonna bring this highlight a little bit above his brow bone. Now are you switching brushes for every color? I didn't, I haven't switched, I literally just switched brushes just now. Just for the highlight. Just for the highlight. Um, the rest of them, you, you do want the colors to blend into each other, so I don't switch brushes in between. I don't want, I want them to kind of like be married to each other. Cool. You know, they're in a committed relationship. Yes. How nice. So again, on the cheekbone with this same same MBA color, and just really diffusing those lines, making it really, really soft and iridescent and glowy. So pretty. And you can even see it starting to take that shape. You really follow the contour of the face. So, so gorgeous. Um, Thanks. <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more shimmer just to give it some more impact. I mean, you could just leave it like this. It's absolutely stunning, but I really wanted <laughs> I really wanted him to have color payoff when he's on the red carpet. I wanted it to be like bah, bah, boom when he, you know, turned to the side. So these Danessa Myricks metals are one of my favorite tools that I have in my makeup kit because they're so highly pigmented, but they're a shimmer. You don't find that often. You guys, you should all rock this look for pride and send us videos and pictures. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. I'm so excited. Um, so this is the color sequin, and it's kind of like an indigo blue. It's really gorgeous, and I'm gonna just go right, right where his hairline is. Normally, where you would put that really, you know, dark contour color, I'm gonna put that blue right there. Dust off my brush a little bit, and just start kind of working that through. And you can see that shimmer is like ten times more intense. Blend it with my finger slightly. I'm so excited. Um, now, same Danessa Myricks metals. This one is in the color Evergreen. I still have a little bit of blue left on my brush. Evergreen. Oh my god, this, like, look at this color. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? I'm gonna put this right above that blue. Again, I still have a little bit of blue on my brush and I'm just slightly tapping it off as I go and building. So are you keeping it more to the hairline area with the iridescence? Or yes. you bring it all the way down yeah, to the you kind cheek? Of, yeah, you would kind of apply at the hairline area and then just very gently sketch it down. Um, I don't want it to be like a harsh line here. So I'm really starting here and then as I drag my brush out, I'm almost lifting my brush up so I can really diffuse that line. And you can kind of see that green coming through. That uh, Makeup Forever color that we used, that gold, I, I want to bring that out even a little bit more. So I still have some of that green shimmer on my brush. Uh, and then I'm going to go back in with this gold and just kind of lift it up a little bit. And then MBA Cosmetics. I love makeup. Color in <laughs> Coral Cove. 
which is a shimmery iridescent pink, and just kind of diffuse that gold out. So you're really going for that super highlighted gorgeous look. Blend it out with your finger, and that is about it. You can do it on one what? side, both sides. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, let's see what is that. Yeah. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. And see, like, if you look from the front, it just looks like I'm contoured or highlight. It's so beautiful, Nikki. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just literally like, blew out the finger. You're so amazing. I love you. Well, you're Thank in the best you. canvas, and you always, Frankie always lets me create and do ah! fun things, so it's a fun team. Oh my god, I love it so much. And you guys, definitely do recreate the look at home. Send us your pictures and images. Them. I want to see, and I'll, of course, check out the No Tears Left to Cry music video if you haven't seen it, if you're that one person on the planet that hasn't seen it yet. And, no uh, one hasn't seen it. <laughs> exactly. Let's be, let's be honest. And send us some love. I love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe to both of our channels and uh, leave some comments below. I want to know what you think. Love you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs>